So this is a Facebook stock update. So it looks like a lot of you guys uh, have asked me to do an update today. Well, we covered it yesterday when stock was trading at 310, I believe, 318, I think. So 310, that's the support at the moment. And what's now from here? So we're gonna switch to daily chart and we're gonna go through a few numbers here as well. But first of all, uh, look at this chart. So stock after reporting earnings tested this level um, twice, I think. So on earnings day, dropped to 310. Uh, had another negative day and then we bounced right here if you can see it uh, and after that pop this is now third time we are here at that level testing that level once again so usually when earnings lows gets tested uh, soon well, it, it wasn't pretty soon. I mean, it was one month, right? It was um, October 25th, and then it came down with the overall market pulling back as well. But today, basically no attempt to recover anything. So slightly negative. Uh, I want to say even a flat close today. Uh, you want to give this stock time you don't want to be in a business i mean if you're in the business of uh, bottom ticking stocks uh, you can try to buy at every support but it can keep going lower and um, in that case uh, your average is not going to look good but for me solid support would be for any relief bounce uh, not these levels even though I do think that from this level stock can bounce towards 322 I believe 322 somewhere right here that was the support I was watching uh, it slipped below that level yesterday so but if it slips this uh, 310 if we see more weakness in the market <clears throat> it can come down to towards 300 and 295 so basically 297 even 297 297 300 that's the zone right here from back march and april were pretty much overall market it was pretty weak in february but this stock quickly i mean tech names did very well at that time now if you look at the monthly chart so that's the support i'm watching back from that time if you look at the monthly chart um well had a very nice run and now for the past well december just started all right and let's just not talk about december but this is a december candle um november looks like we had pretty much inside it didn't do much even though it tried to go higher but these two months right there october and september uh it's it was negative selling off pretty big so and on a monthly chart as well you can see this resistance right here which was 297 i believe uh that's what i'm watching as a support so that breakout level if this acts as a support and if it doesn't hold very very likely uh it can come down if we're gonna see weakness in the market very likely can come down to 260 and i'm not um I'm not trading the stock at the moment and I'm not like um, biased up or down but uh, last earnings the, uh, when they reported earnings they warned and uh, one thing that a lot of people didn't like or maybe you missed the fact that 60% um, uh, don't quote me on that exactly but it was pretty high number 60 or 70% of their users are age 60 plus well some people may like it saying that okay 60 plus people are usually well off and they spend a lot of money on ads but uh they warned that that um, apple's uh, new policy i think about the apps hurting their advertising business and uh that's something i didn't like another thing i didn't like was that that they, they said um uh, yeah, 60% plus their users are 60 and older. 
So that's their structure. This is not a diverse business if you are wondering where their revenue comes from and they have cash and they're trying to rebrand themselves as well. Metaverse, uh, they're gonna spend money there, but looks like they have cash, right? They're not having a problem with cash. They have 46 billion uh, cash at the moment, but 94.3% um, of their um, revenue comes from advertising payments fees and other stuff 1.8 percent and other stuff so that's why uh you should give it uh maybe one i would personally give one more quarter to see what they report and what they guide and how that metaverse thing is going uh because it's new and also some may argue that oh it doesn't have a crazy uh price to earnings ratio they're they're, they're not like overvalued uh i'm not into that so yeah pe 24 uh five year pe 26.7 but um momentum um uh, and the trend is your friend so if you look at the moving averages uh look at it below all of its moving averages there's no i mean there's nothing wrong uh, with uh, wanting to own the stock it's just like are you is it a deal right here right now uh, that's that's the question for me personally and uh, I don't think it's a deal for me personally <laughs> and but we'll see uh, let's take a look at on in terms of why I don't think this is a good spot here at 310 even though it can bounce uh, if you look at the volume profile and I'm gonna bring up two years of a volume profile you can see that the solid support, solid demand levels were right here at 330, 325. And now, well, we do have some support here all the way till, um, well, at these levels as well. But most volume traded in this zone right here from 280, 260, 280. So I think that's very, very possible because that's where the most volume traded and if stock is happened to be trading there well I would definitely uh, trade it but at the moment um, I'm taking that contrary stance and I'm pretty much uh, it doesn't matter how how big of a company it is uh, I'm just um, just just like I said trend trend is your friend so trend is at the moment to the downside if it starts slipping below these 307 I think that was the today's low uh, it can definitely see 296 and then from there we'll definitely cover it also if you look at the MACD well it's to the downside and today's option activity uh, 168,000 puts uh, 334,000 calls more calls were traded and if you look at the um, implied volatility let's take a look at implied volatility by December 31st stock is implying $28 move up or down IV is 40% so not too high for Facebook but I saw a lot of uh, premiums that were traded today they are um, they are spreads all right and like these spreads like uh, December 3rd 350 and 355 spread I don't know like this is these penny penny contracts I don't know what people tried to do that it, it it may be someone who is closing their position but also uh, one way to look around contracts is okay we have a uh, quad watching coming up right so you can go through individual orders and see what was the volume traded today and what's the open interest um, going into certain expiration dates so in this case I'm looking at December 17th so um, yeah go through do a little bit of a digging and that's my um, thoughts and I do think that the stock can go lower I don't I don't see a reason why it should reverse and go back to two, uh, 350 or even all-time highs right here right now even though it's a uh, how much is it down let's take a look at the let's measure how much Facebook is down from its all-time highs I do believe that's the 20% uh, mark somewhere here uh, let's take a look let's measure this drop so it's exactly down 20% and that's what I mean like if it drops more than 20% well um, it's still within that correction 
zone, which is 20%, right? But if it falls below 20, that it will fall into a bear market. So you want to be careful. Look at PayPal, Visa, or maybe even other names that uh, have been struggling to find some bids. But I'm not going to be surprised if this stock basically moves right here up and down. Uh, trades with a basically Christmas tree type of a trading and then slips below. Well, I'm, um, I'm not going to be surprised by that. But again, it's not a advice. Uh, I'm just a trader, YouTuber. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.